In this health innovation segment, as we are now into the second year of this deadly pandemic, there is still a lot of talk about health and what's being done to keep us safe. Well, Arizona is playing a big role in health innovations, and it's all being highlighted this week during Arizona Bioscience Week. And here to explain is Joan Kerber Walker. She is the president and CEO of AZ Bio. Great to have you with us again, Joan. All right, for those who may not know, what is the role and the function of AZ Bio? Susan, AZ Bio is a community. It's a community of people who are working together to keep Arizonans healthy and to help them have healthier lives. It includes our medical researchers, our hospitals, our educators, and the companies that are making life-saving treatments, vaccines, and medical devices. Yeah, and it's, this week is kicking off AZ Bio Week. Uh, so explain to people what that is and how they can participate. AZ Bio Week is a celebration. It is our celebration of the amazing work this community does. But equally important, it's designed to help the people of Arizona understand all of the things that are being done and that are happening around them. And it's a wonderful celebration of life, of science, and most importantly, of Arizona. Yeah, that's fantastic. And you were saying that Arizonans are playing a very big role uh, in, in the health innovation world as pioneers. Absolutely. And we are going to be celebrating five amazing leaders um, and four pioneering companies. But my favorite is the Lifetime Achievement Award. It's going to Dr. Golem Payment. Now, you may never have heard of Golem Payment. But you've heard of what he invented. He invented LASIK surgery. <laughs> and he's been honored by the President of the United States at international conferences. And we are so thrilled that he is here in Arizona living among us and that we get to honor him. That is very cool. A lot of people may not realize that. I guarantee you a lot of people need LASIK right about now with all the <laughs> yeah, Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to talk about the patient's role in what AZ Bio does. You know, patients are why we do what we do. And, you know, if we didn't have patients, there's no need for all of the work that's being done in the science. So, so often, medical innovators tell the patients what they're going to do for them. Well, we want the patients to tell us what they need. And so we're going to have voice of the patient, and it's going to be on Zoom, easy for everyone to access because we want to make sure that our patients are safe as they're telling their stories. And we want to make sure that everybody has a chance to listen. Yeah, you were saying this week is kind of a hybrid. So there will be some virtual um, conferences and then some in person, correct? We are watching what's happening with COVID-19 and the spreading Delta variants. And so we want to make sure that whatever we do celebrates the science, but also follows the science and is safe for everyone that participates. Yeah, so just keep an eye on things as they progress throughout this week. And I want you to uh, remind our viewers, you say you do have an important reminder for all. I do. So we've talked about this before and the COVID-19 pandemic is not over yet. And so it's very, very important that we all make our, our good choices and do our part. That includes, please, if you have not done so already, get your COVID-19 vaccine. Continue your good health habits and washing your hands and getting in there. And most importantly, um, you know, be considerate of people around you. You don't know what their health situation is. When you're in a crowded public place, be considerate and put on a mask. Yeah, very good points. As always, Joan, thank you so much. And if you would like more information about Arizona Bioscience Week, it runs now through October 9th. You can learn more at azbio.org slash azbw2021.